Jennifer Gunter, The Vagina Bible, The Vulva and the Vagina, Separating the Myth from the Medicine. Welcome to an enlightening journey through the fascinating world of the vagina and the vulva. In The Vagina Bible, Separating the Myth from the Medicine, Dr. Jennifer Gunter sheds light on the complex yet often misunderstood topic of female genitalia. The book summary enlightens readers about the anatomy, function, and care of the vagina and vulva, while debunking common myths and misconceptions. Explore essential aspects of vulva and vaginal health, sexual function, menstruation, aging, and infections, while learning the importance of evidence-based information in making informed decisions about your body. Understanding the Female Anatomy The female anatomy is more complex than just a vagina. Not all women have vaginas, and having one does not define your gender. The outer part of the genitals is called the vulva, while the vagina is a muscular tube connecting it to the cervix. The vulva consists of the mons, labia, and clitoris, all of which are erectile and vary in shape and size. The clitoris, only visible part of the Y-shaped structure, is designed for sexual pleasure. The pelvic floor muscles wrap around the vaginal opening and help with continence and stability. Good bacteria in the vagina keep the pH at a healthy level. Proper care of your genitals involves regular cleaning and avoiding harmful products and practices. Vagina Care Tips There is an ever-growing market for vulva and vaginal care products promising better hygiene, health, and fragrance. However, from a medical viewpoint, there is no need to wash, wipe, or cream your vagina as it is a self-cleaning organ. Overcleaning can harm the vagina's natural ecosystem. For vulva cleaning, use cleansers with a pH around 5.5, avoid soaps with high pH, and minimize skin tearing while removing pubic hair. The number one rule is not to douche, as it increases the risk of bacterial imbalances and sexually transmitted infections. Balanced diets with lots of fiber can help keep the vagina happy and healthy. Demystifying Female Orgasms Understanding the complexity of the female orgasm is key to experiencing maximum pleasure during sexual activity. When a woman is sexually aroused, blood flow to her genital area increases, which can lead to an orgasm. However, contrary to popular belief, there is no such thing as a vaginal orgasm or a secret G-spot. The clitoris is the key to a woman's sexual pleasure, and only 65% of heterosexual women report experiencing an orgasm during sex. To enhance pleasure, most women require additional clitoral stimulation through fingers or toys. While some women may ejaculate or squirt during sex, these experiences are not common, and it is important to remember that every woman's body is unique. Above all, it is important to approach sex without judgment and with a focus on pleasure and mutual enjoyment. Understanding Menstruation Menstruation is a complex process that occurs in the female body each month. It starts with the release of hormones by the brain and ovaries, which trigger the development of eggs and thickening of the uterus lining. If fertilization doesn't occur, the uterus lining sheds, causing bleeding, which lasts three to seven days. Menstrual products such as pads and tampons depend on personal preference and bleed intensity. Tampons are safe to use if changed regularly, and women are encouraged to experiment with different products to find their ideal choice. Changes in a woman's body This book section highlights the physical changes that happen to a woman's vulva and vagina during pregnancy, childbirth, and menopause. It also offers practical tips on how to prepare and cope with these changes. Despite being natural processes, these changes are often perceived as taboo topics in society, leaving many women feeling unprepared and embarrassed. Most women are unaware of the significant changes their bodies will undergo during pregnancy, childbirth, and menopause. For instance, pregnancy causes an increase in blood flow to the vagina, coupled with changes in hormones, which can lower sex drive and increase the risk of yeast infections and bacterial infections. Healthcare providers will perform tests in the third trimester to identify and treat these possible infections, which can harm the baby. 
Childbirth, on the other hand, is a traumatic event that takes a toll on the vagina temporarily. Tearing of the vagina is common, with up to 79% of women experiencing some degree of tear during vaginal delivery. However, the vagina has evolved to stretch, tear, and heal. Therefore, trauma is a natural part of childbirth, and doctors recommend perineal massages in the weeks before and during birth to reduce tearing. Post-birth healing can take several weeks, with swelling, bruising, discharge, constipation, and hemorrhoids being common. Medications such as ice packs and ibuprofen can help manage the pain, and most doctors recommend waiting at least four to six weeks to resume sexual activity. Finally, menopause is another natural process that brings significant physical changes to the vagina and vulva. As the estrogen and progesterone hormones reduce, the vulva and vaginal tissues can shrink and become less elastic, leading to genitourinary syndrome of menopause, GSM. Hot flashes, irritation, and dryness of the vulva are also among the common symptoms of menopause. However, most of these symptoms can be treated through vaginal estrogen creams or patches, pills, or rings. In conclusion, the text delves into the natural yet significant changes that happen to a woman's body during pregnancy, childbirth, and menopause. In the absence of honest and open conversations about these changes, many women feel unprepared and embarrassed. However, with the appropriate knowledge and practical tips such as doing perineal massages and seeking medical attention when necessary, women can cope and embrace these transformations to their bodies. The Importance of Regular STI Screenings Almost every sexually active woman will contract an STI at some point, making regular screenings crucial. Among the most common STIs is HPV, with over 80% of women contracting it in their lifetime. A safe and effective vaccine is available, but it works best if given before first sexual contact, typically between 9 and 12 years of age. Herpes can also be latent and can be effectively managed with medication. Gonorrhea and chlamydia are additional common bacterial STIs that can lead to serious infections if left untreated, but antibiotics can address them. While condoms are effective at preventing STIs when used correctly, up to 29% still break or slip under real-world conditions. In conclusion, regular STI screenings are essential to prevent infertility, cancer, and HIV contraction, and to maintain sexual health and well-being. Understanding Vaginal Yeast Infections and Bacterial Imbalances Vaginal yeast infections and bacterial imbalances are common issues that affect many women. Yeast is a type of single-cell organism that can cause redness, itching, and pain when it overgrows. Candida albicans is the most common species for yeast infections, but non-candida species are also on the rise. Bacterial vaginosis, BV, is caused by a drop in lactobacilli and increase in bad bacteria, which can change the vaginal pH and cause pain, itching, and odor. It's important to talk to a doctor and get tested for proper diagnosis and treatment, as over half of women who self-diagnose actually have a different condition. While drugs called azoles are highly effective for treating yeast infections, there's no medical proof of home remedies. Unfortunately, the drugs currently available for BV only kill the bad bacteria, and there are no good studies on the effectiveness of probiotics with lactobacilli. Using condoms during intercourse can protect against STIs and also potentially against BV, but spermicide can upset the vaginal ecosystem. Vagina Health 101 Taking care of your vagina is important, and regular STI testing and cervical cancer screenings are crucial. When experiencing symptoms or changes, accurate description to your doctor is key. Research online cautiously and beware of wellness product branding. Remember, less is more when it comes to maintaining vaginal health. Dr. Jennifer Gunter's The Vagina Bible offers a comprehensive and engaging guide to understanding and caring for female genitalia. Highlighting the importance of accurate and evidence-based information, this book encourages readers to become knowledgeable about their own bodies and make well-informed choices. By breaking myths and shedding light on vaginal anatomy, sexual function, menstruation, 
and common health concerns. The Vagina Bible empowers women to take charge of their health and well-being. Remember, the key to maintaining a healthy and happy vagina is being well-informed and following a few simple care practices. So, embrace the facts, prioritize your health, and debunk the myths with confidence.